Hello there again. This is our seventh uh, lecture in a series of lectures on uh, on new building technology, new building materials technology that have been developed here at Blue World Creek. Um, what I wanted to talk to you about today uh, really is, I think, incredible. Okay, uh, we have a technology now that 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 may sound uh, not really important, but I believe it's going to be important to a lot of third world nation, nations around the world in which they don't have the finances, uh, the equipment uh, to, to build roads. And you know, building roads is really the first sign of, of being able to bring medicines, bring, uh, bring, bring, bring in commerce. It's progress. Uh, and, it, and, it, and it's health to the people. So uh, one of the things that, 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 that you find in a lot of third world nations and nations around the world that haven't been developed as, 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 as well as, for example, here in the United States, uh, is a lot of uh, dirt roads. Um, dirt roads get washed out, they get flooded out, they, 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 by traffic going over them, they, they don't last. What we've done in the laboratory is, is mix our covalent bonding material, and I had told you in earlier lectures that it, it mixes uh, well with almost any aggregate. Uh, we've mixed it with just with dirt from all over the world. Uh, we've mixed it in dirt from, uh, from um, uh, Jamaica to dirt in Costa Rica to, to dirt here in the United States, uh, sand here in Florida, sand on the beaches. Uh, we've mixed it and what we have found is that we can take excavated material and turn it into a cementuous material, a hard material. Now this particular dirt is from Costa Rica. Uh, we visited uh, some of the um, some of the ministers in, in Costa Rica and, and they were interested in, uh, in turning some of their mountainous dirt roads uh, into something, into a substance that wasn't expensive but at the same time afforded the ability that heavy trucks could go over it and that it could stand up to seismic activity. If you remember in our earlier lectures I told you about the tensile strength and I, I, I showed you for example this uh, concrete ball and I told you that we had 360 degrees of, of equal strength in every direction so it's 360 degrees squared um, and we have total tensile strength in every direction so here too if you have a substance having strength in this direction in this direction in this direction in that direction in this direction you have a matrix, uh, a nano ceramic, so to so to speak, a a matrix, a molecular structure which can can handle seismic, most seismic activity, and that's what we have here. We have dirt, which is now mixed with our catalytic, our our formula, our secret uh, formula, and basically it is formed uh, into a a very nice road material, okay? I think that the important thing to understand here is that if we, we, we've done this in a way in which we can use the excavated material on site and in essence using the technology developed here at Blue World Creek, we can use that excavated material and turn that into nice highways and nice roads that will last and last and handle um, all the traffic you can put on it. Uh, you can land an airplane on this material um, six hours after it's down. Now that's incredible. But I've been telling you some incredible things. But I think I have something even more incredible to show you now. Okay, I want to introduce you to a first time product, a prototype that we've been working on here at, here at uh, Blue World Crete. This is Blue World Wood. 
Uh, yes, that's, that's right. It wasn't a slip of my tongue. This is Blue World Wood. This is wood. And this is wood which is made out of fabric, cotton material. It's made out of straw, okay? Cut grass, you know, your gardener cuts the lawn and you have grass left over. That goes into here and this makes an incredibly powerful wood. Now, the greatest thing about wood has always been the fact that it has great tensile strength. So if you'll notice, if I can turn this little screw, okay, out of here, okay, here's the screw. Now watch me as I place it right in here, okay, and I just turn it inside as, as like just, just I would any wood product, okay. Now, there we go. There we go. If that was cement, okay, that would come right out. It wouldn't have the threads. And I want to show you that here is a bolt. And this bolt was put into this piece of artificial wood, this green, this blue world wood. And we drilled a hole. And we drilled a hole right near the edge. And if you can see really carefully, you're not going to see any cracks. Okay? And basically, we're going to put that back in. Okay? And here is a screw that was just drilled in and here is a nail that was hammered in so here we have a piece of light weight wood but it's not wood okay it is our geo blue wood now geo blue wood has certain advantages over real wood one where you don't have to deforest the uh, uh, our planet any longer. We don't need to cut down trees any longer in order to have a wood supply. We can make this material into plywood-like uh, panels, you know, four by eights. We can, we can make it into um, uh, two by sixes, four by fours. Whatever you, we now have wood products, we can make this product. And this product is comparable in price, maybe a little bit cheaper, uh, but it has certain advantages. Here's advantage number one. If you had a house made out of this material, it could never burn down. This material is impervious to flames. It will not burn. Not only will it burn, but like our cement products, it will not have that smoke or fumes come out of it and heat will not transverse it in one direction or another. Geo blue wood is something that you can cut with a regular handsaw, drill with a regular drill, nail with a regular hammer and do with it everything that you do with wood and we haven't cut down one tree in order to make this is what we do here at Blue World Crete. We make the technologies that we believe will really make a significant difference in keeping our planet fresh, clean, alive. Thank you so much.